Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Libra. How are you guys this week, Libra? Hope you're well. So Libra, let's see what your energies are this week. Single Libras in their love life. Single Libras need to know. Okay, sacrifice. Some of you are, are keeping your feelings to yourself. You're not going to uh, sacrifice anything. <laughs> You'd rather drink your own tears. If it's not yourself, it's someone else. Yeah, it could be someone who's afraid of being rejected. They're keeping their feelings to themselves. But this is also an energy of someone who I think feels they missed an opportunity because of this. Yeah, this could be yourself, could be another person. The Princess of Cups doesn't have to be... Um, it's somebody in touch with their feelings. <laughs> so it could be anyone. But yeah, like I say, keeping your feet, drink someone rather drink their own tears than be rejected. No want, wanting to sacrifice. And it could be someone who doesn't want to sacrifice anything. Okay, so it's a person I feel has missed an opportunity. It has to do with investing. See, this is something that may, someone maybe felt it wouldn't, this an, an investment wouldn't pay off. You see? It's a person who likely procrastinated. It's a little bit of a struggle. Yeah, weighing the pros and the cons. Mm. But he felt something wouldn't pay off here. Yeah, it was an energy of luck. Could be someone who's robbing Peter to pay Paul. They don't have enough money. You know, or someone who always acts like they don't. It's an energy of someone who keeps their feelings to themselves because they don't want to sacrifice anything. But it's an energy of self-sabotage because this is someone who's missed a magical opportunity. Yeah, energy of luck, self-fulfilling prophecy, sabotage. Uh, we've had someone here. So somebody here has definitely been waiting, but it's an energy of a person who may feel it's too late. There's something lacking. It's looking elsewhere. See, it's an energy of patiently waiting for someone. Yeah, we have a person who's kept things to themselves. See, there was a lack of clarity. This is a person shining a light. This is someone who may be curious to see if you're still waiting. Okay, or if you're looking elsewhere, but it's a person who's kept something to themselves. Yeah, we have the Empress, see, and there we have someone who regrets. Someone's missed a magical opportunity with you, Libra. Yeah, they know there's definitely regret. This person may even feel a little ashamed of themselves here. Acting like they don't have any money, maybe when they do, because they don't want to sacrifice. But they kept all their feelings to themselves. But now I feel you're open. I feel like you're looking elsewhere. This person's regretting it. Let's have a look at sacrifice. Why is this here? You may have been dating or dealing with someone uh, with this energy. Yeah, speaking the truth, there you are. See? Yeah. You're not willing to sacrifice. Yeah, I feel like someone here may have ghosted you, ignored you, maybe rejected. So it's, this could even be yourself. But I think this is yourself here speaking your truth. You're likely seeing the truth. You want the truth. I think you already know. I think you know someone's regretting here. Yeah. See, it has to do with investing. See, this is an energy of waiting patiently um, for something to pay off. See, self-sabotage. I mean, it could be yourself that's done this, okay? So definitely keep an open mind and look at it. Tell me about the Princess of Cups. Yeah, so something ended painfully. It's a painful ending. Someone rejected someone. Wasn't good enough. Maybe someone didn't come in. Uh, you decided to end it. Or this person, like I say, it, it could go either way. But I feel like you've got a person here with some Gemini, Libra, Aquarius who, like I feel, this energy of investing. This is someone who felt this is something that wouldn't pay off. See, they wouldn't get what they wanted. They get rejected. So it's a ghosting, ignoring. Someone who feels like they're not good enough. Self-fulfilling prophecy, self-sabotage. Let's have a look at the Four of Cups. Why is this here? This could be just something giving you a heads up here too. Four of Cups. Yeah, you may have stood up to someone. It looks like you spoke your truth. You may have stood up to somebody or, like I say, somebody may have sacrificed um, you for someone else. 
But this is an energy where something just isn't good enough. See? Someone's failed to miss an opportunity. I feel like we're going to have all the queens coming out here. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles. Yes, it has to do with emotional fulfillment. So somebody here who definitely isn't emotionally fulfilled, but it has to do with someone waiting for uh, somebody to uh, put all their cups on the table, open up emotionally. But I feel like you're seeing the bigger picture here. Yeah, there it is. Something is off. It doesn't feel right, you see. Pulling back, seeing things differently. Someone's seeing the bigger picture. They're seeing things differently now. See, they're shining a light. They're curious to see if you're still waiting or you're looking elsewhere, if you're open. It's an energy of open to heal, I feel, too. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, see, the way someone conducts themselves, it has to do with someone who lacks faith that you're the right person, you see. Or uh, maybe somebody wasn't faithful. It has to do with how someone conducts themselves, their morals, their values, the way they behave. It's a person who lacks faith. Look at the Hierophant. Some Taurus energy here. It could be yourself lacking faith in this person. Maybe they weren't faithful. I don't know. But, you know just, you're going to have to keep an open mind with this one. Tell me about the Hierophant. See, it's a lack, see, lack of reciprocity. Somebody wasn't giving. They weren't telling someone something or they were, you know, it's a person who doesn't want to give anything. They act like they don't have any money when they do. And it could be someone who tries to get you to pay for things too. But it has to do with lack and morals and values. Yeah, I feel, you know, like you're waiting, see, for this person to shower the abundance. You're waiting for them to reciprocate. You're not, you're, you're, am I going to... I, I feel like you don't want to sacrifice. You don't want to get rejected if you reach out because I it's maybe this is what's happening here. Maybe you've had a situation that ended painfully. So let's have a look at that. Yeah, so there we have that leap of faith. Somebody taking a leap of faith. Someone feels like a fool for not taking a risk. Maybe you took a risk. Maybe it's yourself. You stood up to this person and took a risk. Okay. So it's either you're not sacrificing or this person's not. Because I feel like you gave. You, you, we know the Queen of Rods can be very generous. We know the Queen of Rods is somebody who can be quite generous. So with your time, your energy. So it's like you sacrificed, you gave. This person didn't. So they're looking at, at this if you're still waiting or looking elsewhere. I feel like it may be too little too late. You know, they're looking at that. They may feel like it's too late now. Self-sabotage because they, they didn't want to give. You see, there it is. Uh, the star, this person may have felt it was too good to be true, but it's an energy of this person needing to release things that no longer serve them. It has to do with healing. See, releasing this things that no longer serve. This person felt that you were out of their league, that you'd probably reject them. So this is something that's likely happening around now or um, or going to. It depends where you are here. But there it is. See, this is someone becoming discerning or not discerning, decisive. See, they're becoming more sure of themselves. But it has to do with this person thinking things through. They may have rushed in and backed out. So this could be someone who changed their mind. But it has to do with this person possibly feeling you're out of their league. Uh, it's too good to be true. They rushed in. And then I feel this is someone who they kept a lot to themselves. Yeah, see, it has to do with uh, coming in just right. This person may have felt like you were the right person for them. Okay, they're pulling back and seeing things different here now. They're seeing things different. They're seeing the bigger picture. They missed a not magical opportunity. They could have been very happy. If this is someone you spent some time with, they were happy when they were with you. They were fulfilled. You were filling their cup. Okay, you indulged this person. You were being generous. But they were not conducting themselves that way. You weren't on the same page, you see. Uh, and I feel it has to do with morals, values, uh, their habits, lifestyle. They felt you weren't right, that you just, you know, you're just, yeah. It has to do with whether they're juggling or they maybe they weren't faithful or maybe they felt that way about you. But it has to do with marriage and commitment, doing things just right, being fair. See, this person knows they weren't fair. 
They didn't treat you right. They weren't fair. This is someone who needs to release this energy and let it go. It no longer serves them. You see, you may have willingly let go as well. So there it is, taking back your power. You've taken back your power. You're the one who's now in control. Okay, this person was possibly pulled in two different directions, but they were trying to control their emotions, trying not to get emotionally invested. But I can tell you they did. They kept their feelings to themselves. But now this is where I feel here. You, know, you, I feel like you did sacrifice, but now it's like you're no longer. And it may have nothing to do with this person. It could have been something in the past, something else that happened where you gave and gave. Now I feel like unless you get the whole truth, nothing but the truth, you're not taking a risk. Because I feel like you took risks. Some of you have Aries in your chart or Scorpio. I see Sag. Aquarius, Libra. Yeah, my goodness, some Taurus energy. Let's have a look at the Empress energy. Yeah, see, they're shining a light. They're curious. Someone's very curious here, see? Shining a light. This is somebody who feels, um, could be feeling a little ashamed. They weren't very generous. They weren't giving. You were generous. You gave and they didn't. So now it could be where you spent time together. Um, maybe you went places and they made you pay for things. I feel you were generous with your time, your energy, maybe even your money. This is someone who knows they didn't treat you right. They weren't fair, plain and simple. Uh, I feel they lost control. They were trying to control something here and they lost control because you've now taken your power back. See, they know. This is someone who already knows what they're, the answers they're seeking, the clarity. They already know. They may have been keeping a secret, keeping something to themselves here. They may have been juggling. There may have been a choice between you and someone else. So definitely some some regrets, a little bit of shame. Five of Cups. Yeah, see someone at a crossroads in their life. See, they're at that time in their life. This is to do with a new path. You're off on a new path. They feel like it's too late. But they're looking for clarity. Feel like you already know. They know that you know. They know that you know there's regret. So I feel like you know that they regret this. But this is somebody who already knew that you were just right. Okay? They just didn't treat you right. They didn't come in right. So now they're in this energy of being more decisive. So if you've had a choice, like I say, there it looks like this is you've had an issue with someone else. Okay? that ended and you're off on this new path. So you're off on this path, taking a risk. You know what you want, you're going for it. You went for something here and then they rejected you, see? Because they didn't want to sacrifice, they didn't want to give. They made you. This person feels ashamed. Tell me about this 10 of cups. Yeah, see, you didn't get what you wanted. See, you filled their cup, gave them what they wanted, made did everything to make them happy, and they didn't, they didn't make you happy. They didn't give you what you needed. You indulged this person. See, you indulged them. You were waiting patiently, and you never got what you wanted. They know it too. They never. They kept their feelings to themselves. Kept everything to themselves. Overall, it's a selfish energy. Tell me about temperance. Yeah, see, they didn't put in the effort. You're the one that did all the work. Okay, if this was a marriage or relationship that you were in and this is something that happened, you're definitely not going to do that again. Okay, that's more than likely what's happening here. We all learn those lessons, right? The lessons. So, you know, this is someone pulling back. They're seeing things differently. See, you put a lot of work in. You put a lot of effort in. They didn't. They didn't put in the effort. This is why it didn't work, you see. They were focused on work, focused on themselves. Tell me more about this. It takes two people, right? It takes two people to reciprocate, to build, and they didn't. Yeah. Somebody who may not even have been faithful, even though you were, they weren't faithful, even though you were faithful to them. You gave, you reciprocated. 
You were, you were there, you were determined. But I feel at some point you may have stood up to this person too. They're now looking at this differently. But I feel like you're also looking, it's in the heart of the reading, you're also looking at this differently. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, see a single person, somebody who's independent, take see, they see you as independent. You took care of yourself. And you took care of them, but they didn't take care of you, your needs. They didn't give you what you needed. So you were independent. You work hard. You take care of yourself. You look good. But there's something different, right? This is an energy of something different. And I feel like you're different, okay? Yeah, I feel it's an energy of trying something different, a different kind of person, okay? You may have a type, okay? So it may be telling you here, Libra, that if you have a type, it's time to try something different. Because I feel like you've, it's something I feel where you're kind of um, reflecting on the past here. One last look over the shoulder here. You're, I feel like you're off on a whole new path. But I do feel there's someone curious about you here. Oh, yeah. Somebody's going to reach out. They're hoping you reciprocate. But I don't know if you feel the same because I feel like you're in this single mode. You very independent. You look good. You take care of yourself. You're maybe you're different than the usual type. I don't know, but you know, I feel like if you have a type, then this is your a pattern with you, and you have a type that never gives, and you're always giving and doing all the work, putting in the effort. Maybe you were even in a marriage or a committed relationship with someone. I see some Libra, somebody with, or not Libra, um, there is Libra here, yourself, but there's Aquarius, pardon me. Yeah, see, there you are, open to something new. You have a lot of abundance. Yeah, you're definitely, this is an energy where I feel like you've you healed, you're kind of over this energy, you're open to other options. Yeah, you have a lot of abundance, a lot, a lot of, and you know your worth and value too, see? This has to do with faith and respect. Somebody maybe even disrespected you here. I feel they're ashamed. And I feel like you kind of feel like there's no hope. This is why I feel like you're just focused on work. You're looking out for yourself. But I don't think this person, uh, something about them either not being faithful or they came in with lack, acting like they didn't have any money when they did. Very selfish. Uh, someone who's kind of all about themselves here. Maybe even at times this person was a little smug, figuring they were getting away with this, right? Yeah. Libra, Libra. That's okay. You got this. You got the Queen of Queen of Rods energy there. Uh -huh. Someone may have rejected you for someone else, though. Stopped talking to you, stopped uh, reaching out. But I really feel it's just an energy where this is the energies of the Empress here. See, there you are, looking into the future, focused on your money, very independent. Yeah, you got your eye on the prize. You're making plans. Some of you are just kind of preparing and planning to just be single. Uh, here because of this it's like you you don't have a lot of faith in anyone being very generous uh, I don't think you'll make the same mistake you may even have regrets being so generous and giving and uh, taking a risk thinking you would get this reciprocity Queen of Pentacles grounded sensible practical yeah you're focused on your money I see a comfortable home making plans you're preparing uh, for the future always prepared see this is someone who sees you that way they're seeing you differently you're always prepared always uh, sharing generous uh, very giving i feel like you have this giving nature but i feel like you're no longer doing that i i i feel like you're you're cutting anybody who comes in with that energy where they want you to keep indulging them right this is sometimes the queen of pentacles indulges and makes someone feel comfortable Right, by keep giving, making them feel comfortable, filling their cups, giving them everything they want, making them happy. It's like you did everything you could to make them happy, but you never got what you wanted. You see, they didn't. And I do feel they're ashamed. I really, really do. I feel this person's, they see this energy. Uh, you're no longer focused on them either by the looks of it. And I eventually it's where you start to become uncomfortable. 
with this person. It's like you're, I feel like you're very comfortable doing your own thing, very comfortable in your own skin too here. Some of you may be getting a different look too, changing your look, okay? Um, could be someone who's curious whether you're still waiting or if you've started something new, where you are, what you're up to. You, know, you may be, maybe you look differently too, you know, changing your look. Yeah, you're getting ready. You're open to other options here. But there you are, taking the lessons learned, learning the lessons of all the queens, moving on calmly and peacefully. You see? This is calming down, moving on, no longer giving. Tell me more about this Prince of Swords. Who is this person? Looks like... You either have Taurus in your chart or Virgo, or they do. I'm seeing uh, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. They may have Sag in their chart. And of course, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, there you go. There they are. Uh, this is someone here uh, definitely analyzing the situation. This is an energy of someone who is wondering if you're waiting or if you have other options. So someone I feel, you know, that kind of kept their options open, but it's also a person who's in their head overanalyzing. They're looking at all the possibilities, how this could play out. You see, they're looking at how this all played out. Because I don't think you're waiting. It's like too little, too late. But they're looking to see if it is. I feel they're becoming, you know, more sure of themselves. But I feel it's an energy. This is someone who felt you were out of their league. They felt you would reject them. It wouldn't be good enough. You know, and it's possible too. you have somebody who felt you were under their league that they weren't good enough. But honestly, I feel this is someone who knows they didn't treat you right. They didn't come in right and they didn't treat you right. You've taken back your power. This is someone who knows too. And it's like they know you know. Tell me about the high priestess. Yeah, see, there it is. See, this is someone who sees you this way. They've changed how they feel, the way they, they they see this. This is that beautiful Wheel of Fortune energy. You have a lot to offer. See, it has to do with the timing. This person feels like it's possibly too late. I feel like you've been just focused on other things. Maybe even planning a trip, maybe planning to travel, to go somewhere. Some of you, maybe you're even moving on or relocating here. Tell me about justice. Yeah, they see you as someone who's just right. See, they know. They, someone here, they blew it here. But they're coming in. But this is also a person who rushes in without thinking and then they back out. You see, so it has to do about coming in right, maybe making something right. Yeah, some Gemini energy, they're manifesting. They have all the tools. This is someone who has everything they need. And you're. this is where they see you. Is You see, you've mastered life. You have all the tools. You're, you're, you're everything this person could ever want and need. But they. This is someone who needs to come in right. They need to do things right. It's the energy of truth. See, they're having that aha moment. They're seeing the truth. This is something that could have been successful. They missed an opportunity. They lost control. Tell me about the Empress. So this looks, like I say, I feel some of you have had this happen before where you're just very generous. You shower the abundance and then you're waiting for them to reciprocate. You may have maybe reached out, dropped a little hint, like, hi, what are you up to, you know? Maybe you took a trip with this person. They made you pay for everything. They acted like they didn't have any money. But I'm going to tell you, they definitely have insecurities. So someone who needs to let go of the, that insecure, those insecurities that no longer serves them. Thanks, but no thanks. It's not good enough. See, someone who dropped breadcrumbs. You're looking elsewhere. You're going to sit around waiting. You're not going to sit and wait. You know, you've likely kept your options open while you were waiting. 
but it's possible the truth is they may have had other options as well so but i i feel here this is something that's about to shift in your favor yeah see a strong financial foundation a house and a home some of you've moved relocated they're curious they want to know something this person maybe wants to come and see you they want to make something right I don't know. I feel they're definitely uh, very secretive. They definitely keep things to themselves here. And I feel like you know. And I think they know you know. <laughs> but it's also, you looks like some of you actually have another person possibly curious about you. Stranger Curiosity, Page of Swords. Because you've got it here twice, so. Yeah. You got You've got a King of Cups coming in. Someone has definitely has regret. This is someone at a crossroads in their life looking for love. See, it's a single person. We have What we have is two single people who have everything but love. Uh, but I feel this is someone here is definitely very lonely, longing for love. Definitely a person who's um, definitely in their feelings here. See, this is someone who tried to control their feelings, but they got emotionally invested anyway. But they still kept it all to themselves. They didn't tell you. Well, now this person maybe feels like it's too late, but I feel they're going to come in. They're going to swoop in. I actually feel some of you have another person. You're moving on. You may have another person who's uh, coming in to take control, who's curious. Because I do see a possibility of uh, uh, stranger curiosity, someone who sees that Empress energy. So someone who's wanting things to go in their favor. The only way something will go in this person's favor is if they're open emotionally. They got to put all their cups on the table. But I, I feel with the Queen of Pentacles is telling you to play it safe. Don't give too much. Don't sacrifice. Okay. I feel like you've taken enough risks. Okay. I think this person feels like a fool, but you may. Uh, for giving so much but you've learned a valuable lesson there it is multiple opportunities things speeding up someone's in a hurry you know you're I, I feel been there done that with someone there's somebody here you're definitely not interested in you're leaving someone behind i feel like you've given enough you've sacrificed enough it's time for this other person and i feel the reason why this happened with this person is they didn't want to share they wanted to keep everything to themselves. And I actually feel they were a little smug about that at some point. Some of you, like I say, you're at a crossroads. You kind of feel like there's no hope, but you're open. Okay, you're likely open to the possibility. This is someone, you got someone fantasizing about you, being with you, married with you. Um, but it could be yourself that was kind of fantasizing about this person. Maybe you were already kind of, planning and preparing to be with this person maybe hoping to move in together but i feel like you've moved on it's like you're just being calm you're just moving away calmly and peacefully leaving the past in the past taking the lessons all right empress energy yeah see the tower something's coming in sudden someone's having a sudden epiphany here but you got somebody coming in out of the blue. You might be a little bit shocked or surprised who it is. But I feel this is where you make this life choice, this decision. I don't think if you have two people, uh, you're one of them. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I see a been there, done that. Yeah, you're meeting other people. See, you've got some kind of invitation, something very sudden happening. You may meet someone suddenly here too. Someone's curious about you too. That's why I feel like you've got this person here who didn't tell you everything. They kept things to themselves. And then you've got this person here who, they could be a Gemini. See, there's a Gemini and a Libra here, as well as fire and earth energy. But it has to do with someone here fantasizing about marriage commitment. Whether you're just right. Someone probably felt you weren't right. They may have even manipulated you and not told you the whole truth. They may have even had been juggling. They likely weren't faithful. I feel they're definitely ashamed. So you can just leave that in the past. Take that with you. Uh, could be some kind of somebody coming in, maybe trying to uh, make things right. Could be closure. Not so sure some of you care about that. 
some of you just want someone to leave you alone here <laughs> i feel like you're just really independent i feel like you're just changing your look you're i feel like you're ready to get out there again and i feel like you will meet someone suddenly uh, i see an invitation some kind of an event something that happens uh, quickly uh, i feel like you're going to look at the things in the past that you also regret okay Sometimes the King of Cups is uh, when they come in with a negative too. Uh, someone who tries to not get emotionally invested. They try really hard to stay in control. There's something they want to keep to themselves where they'll drop you like a hot potato for someone else. You see? So you might want to watch that energy. But I feel like you're going to meet someone suddenly at an event. Uh, some kind of invitations coming in. Yeah, You're definitely breaking free from a situation. You're focused a lot on success. I think the, this person realizes this could have been long-term successful, but I don't think you see it that way. I, I don't. <laughs> you could, but like I see long-term planning, preparing for success, a victory. I feel like if you get yourself out there, you're going to get a lot of attention. Someone's looking to see who you're giving your attention to. Well, you're getting a lot of it, I feel, if you get out there. So get yourself out there. Okay, someone is going to approach you. Somebody wants to approach you. Now, you could be a little unapproachable with the Queen of Swords energy, acting like you be single when you don't want to be. So watch what you're putting out there because what you put out there comes back to you. Okay, so but I feel something that y you've invested in or put out there is going to come back. Okay, and it could be someone who never acted, uh, never approached you, may suddenly decide to. But I feel like you're you're moving away from someone. You're taking your power back. You're moving towards something more successful here. Yeah, make sure someone isn't suddenly deciding to chase you when they, if they find out you're successful. Okay, watch that. Keep that to yourself. Don't share it. Okay, don't tell people that you're financially successful if you are. Okay, because I feel like you're going to have some maybe even the wheel of fortune sudden success here. So. Yeah, you might even, like I say, is an energy of being acknowledged, um, uh, being chased. So uh, the Empress doesn't chase. So this is where this is where you're trying something different too. You're not chasing. But I feel like look, there's several people here. Somebody here, I feel, is just uh, getting ready to communicate. It's likely going to come in out of the blue, but I see multiple opportunities for some of you. Just trust your intuition. If it feels right, go for it. If it doesn't, leave it behind, okay? Trust that intuition. Yeah, because I, I feel like if you have someone who comes back around or suddenly finds out you're successful and then they start chasing you uh, when you weren't good enough before, see? So be very careful. Don't be ge too generous with someone. You may have been generous with this person, um, in fact, you may have someone who had more money than you at the time and they still made you pay for things. But I feel like you've been focused a lot on your finances. I actually feel like you're in your power. You feel more in control. Okay. So, yeah, yeah I definitely see you being much more confident if you do get out there. Somebody here definitely lacks confidence, though. <laughs> the lack of confidence, the lack of faith in themselves. Yeah, some of you, like I say, you may not feel someone is faithful. But I feel like you have faith in yourself. It's like you look out for yourself very independent. So there it is, taming the beast. Yeah, you're taming the beast. You're definitely confident. I actually feel like if you go out there and hold your head high, I, I think you're going to get a lot of attention. But keep your financial situation to yourself, okay? And I also feel, now this is another interesting energy that I don't see often with you that I can think of, but there's a person here who feels like they need to be needed. See, I feel like you're very independent. You give the impression you don't need anybody. And somebody here feel, needs to be needed. They need to know they're needed. You see? So that's an interesting energy, but make sure you don't have someone who coming in just looking for attention or chasing you because you are that Empress energy, because you have a lot of abundance. You have a lot to offer. It's somebody who's failed to recognize that. 
That's what you're moving away from. It's a person who's lost control. And then you got this other energy coming in. See, walking away. It's not emotionally fulfilling. See, it's an energy of someone searching. See, you're searching for something here. But this person, yeah, there it is. See, the person who tells the stories makes up excuses. Be careful of the stories someone tells you. Okay? No. Could be somebody coming in to apologize for not treating you right. But be careful of the story they tell you. Okay? Really listen to the story, what they have to say. Because it's a person who paints a picture. You can see the look on their face. They're not always sincere. You know? And it's also sometimes a person who's... Some people aren't very good at apologies. But like I say, just listen to what they have to tell you. Okay? Any excuses this person has here. So, yeah, it looks like I, I don't think you're going to go for this. Yeah, you've got another choice in love here. See, you've got a you want a choice. Uh, I feel there's someone here. Just watch out for somebody who comes in and makes up excuses or apologizes. You know, be very, very um, discerning. Be very wise. I don't think you're going to be fooled again. I'm seeing we've got all the queens here except for the queen of cups right now. And the reason being is I, I feel until that right person comes in, I don't think you're very interested. I feel like you're more focused on money, um, your financial foundation, your house, your home. Some of you have moved. Someone's looking for you. Someone is searching, but I feel like you have a person who's very curious about you, searching for love. Uh, I do see a bond and a connection. But just be very careful of someone who's just looking for friends with benefits, okay? It's not what they are telling you, it's what they're not telling you. That's what I feel like you need to look at. Yeah, but I see other people coming in. I see multiple opportunities, getting a lot of attention. I see you being very confident, but you're taming the beast, your ego, see? Um, could be somebody's pride got in the way, too. Maybe someone's pride got in the way. It's an energy of that's also, that's the beast within as well, pride. Arrogance, ego, you name it, right? These are all things that need to be tamed. <laughs> you're teaching someone how you want to be treated, but I feel as though you're definitely um, letting go of any ego, Um Really watch that prideful energy too. But I do feel like you're going to get uh, some kind of acknowledgement. Yeah, someone's definitely checking you out, taking a little pause, looking at things from a different perspective. Yeah, you may see things differently than somebody else here, this other energy. As I feel like someone's coming in to make peace. But I feel like you've already moved on. If you haven't and you're still waiting... Maybe you're open to this, but please be wise. Yeah, see, you've got a connection. I, I feel like you might just friend zone somebody. Some of you maybe just want a companion. You actually just want to stay single. Because I feel like you're done sacrificing and giving, putting in all the work. Now you're doing the work for you. It's like you, it, it, some of you, I feel like you're older. It's like your time. Okay, this is like your time. Okay. For you to kind of focus on you, to do what you want, to focus on your own success. But there's a connection, a soulmate connection. You may friend zone. Maybe you just, you're just you just going to friend zone or you just want to be friends. Um, but I actually feel like you have opportunities. Um, I feel invitation events happening suddenly. I feel like you could meet someone suddenly. So, okay. Yeah. Don't give up hope. Um, okay. Because it almost looks like you've kind of given up here. Uh, hope and, and connecting. And, yeah, just watch out someone's. It could be an apology. It, it, this card is has just gives me that energy of someone who paints the picture. They tell you a story. They tell you what it ever is you need to hear. But it's not what they are telling you. It's what they're not telling you. That's what I feel like you need to take a pause and look at it. Trust your intuition. But there is definitely a soulmate connection coming in. Yeah, so it is a partnership. Two people who look out for each other's best interests, see? But make sure someone looks out for yours as well. I feel like you do. I feel like you have, you've had someone's best interest at heart all along. I mean, maybe they're taking a pause and seeing that. But I feel you've got someone who made up a lot of excuses. And uh, it's, like I say, not what they did tell you. It's what they didn't tell you. 
you know, see somebody focused on their money, detached, something to do with whether they felt you weren't right for them or they um, were afraid that you wanted something from them or you would take advantage if they were open emotionally. Because a lot of people are afraid to become emotionally connected if they feel like someone's trying to take advantage. But I feel someone regrets taking advantage of your generosity. And I feel like what you put out there is coming back to you, but it's not the same person. It's going to be someone else. I feel like you got a person who's emotionally detached. They, And I do think you're going to take your power back. They don't want to get emotionally invested. That's why I feel be very careful of friends with benefits. Be careful of what you tell people about your own success. If you are a business owner. But you're going to connect with someone who actually has your best interest at heart. Okay. And I feel like there's someone here who regrets this because you actually had their best interest at heart. This could have been a friend where you were always there for them. Maybe it was something on and off. Maybe friends with benefits. I don't know. But you've got a partner coming in. Someone stable. Someone who you can count on. Okay. Yeah. This is the breadcrumber. Yeah. You've got a king of cups coming in. Somebody mature. Emotionally available. Then you've got the negative king of cups and i've been seeing this a lot lately and it's showing up for a reason and i feel it's to get people to realize it you know, sometimes you get someone who tells you what you want to hear and you know, they may it could be someone who's in love with you but if they don't want to give up their money their home they're they're afraid of if the if the relationship isn't successful that they'll lose everything they've worked for you see so this is often a person who refuses to become emotionally attached you see, they're they're very distant. They they act like they're not interested. You see, very much. The, it, it's a lot of this is to do with their money. But I feel this other person here is definitely emotionally mature. They have your best interest at heart as well. Very kind. Okay, uh, compassionate. The negative one is here. The one who, uh, the one who drops you like a hot potato when something better comes along. And maybe you're going to do that. But I'm not seeing you in your feelings here yet, to be honest. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm not seeing you. I feel like you're open. But I feel like you're going to be uh, play it safe and be very cautious. Somebody here definitely was. But they missed an opportunity because of it. But I still feel somebody likely wasn't faithful. And I feel they're ashamed because I feel you were faithful. You were generous and kind. Um, I feel like you made this person feel comfortable, maybe even in your home. Uh, you may have even paid for something. Maybe you took a trip and you paid for it or they didn't pay their fair share. So, you yeah, know, see, somebody was selfish. They refused to budge, stubborn. So I feel now you're protecting yourself from this energy. Beautiful. You got love coming in, though. So it looks like you got... I feel this other person's going to tempt you. I feel like you're going to be tempted. But it's telling you to look out for yourself. Look out for number one. Okay? You've got this beautiful independent. And maybe this is something uh, that happened that you needed. You become more independent. Some, t some people need to be needed. Uh, there's somebody here who feels like you don't need them. Uh, and it's. I know it sounds bizarre to some people but a lot of people need to know they're needed okay so don't be afraid to let somebody uh, know okay um, but yeah just watch out that if you're generous as someone who takes advantage and they just tell you what you want to hear that's um, you know it's a little of this and that this energy of two different perspectives here where you could feel that way or they could feel that way about you so let me just grab one more i feel like i need to Look at this King of Cups. This one that's coming in that has your best interest. They want to partner up, yeah. So it's an energy of somebody who has a lot of abundance. Uh, it's an energy of change. This person could change your whole world. It could be somebody coming back around, but I'm not seeing reconcile. With all this energy, there was some kind of relationship or something there. So I'm not really seeing it. But we'll see. Let's have a look. This is abundance. This has to do with change. Yeah, you've got 
you've got someone here who's just going with the flow. See, someone who goes with the flow. Just kind of wait to see what happens to see where it goes. But there's abundance here. There's a lot of growth and prosperity. So, yeah. You got a couple people here. You got someone coming in. I feel this is an energy where you've just kind of moving on. And uh, it's about being open to other options. But I'm not so sure how... I, I got to be honest, I, I don't see the Queen of Cups here yet, but it doesn't mean, I mean, the Empress is here. So, you know, I'm not so sure how you're going to feel about these people because I feel like you've got this very single independent energy going on right now where you're in protective mode because of things that have happened. But there's a painful period of your life that's actually over okay and a cycle things are actually starting to go in your favor so take a little pause and try to focus on that positive energy okay yeah see change of focus <laughs> yeah your focus on on money creative pursuits i feel like you're trying not to focus on this other person yeah but there's some leo some of you got aries leo or sag in your chart or it's just an energy but it has to do with being confident so you want somebody who comes in that's confident like yourself you see somebody is confident about how they feel and that's what i feel like you're open you're open to that kind of person so take care i wish you the best and bye for now